Hi, welcome to my channel. So I am going to do a little video on how I cash stuff for sinking funds and my like weekly cash envelope. Uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, so I use the budget by paycheck workbook method by the budget mom. Uh, but for this particular check, I do not have enough space on the denomination breakdown. Um, so I kind of also have it on my tablet, but we're going to go through the best that we can. Okay, so I'm going to keep that to the side for now. So I like to use my iPad as well, kind of like a digital planner. I am absolutely not an avid user of it. Um, I definitely suffer from ADHD as an adult, so I do my best. Um, but this is what we're going to be working with for this amount. This is my sinking funds tracker where I specify our goals throughout the year and how much I want to save and by when and roughly what I would need to save per month to meet that goal. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of zoom in on this one. This is what we're working with. So this is 2000 in cash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay? And most of the paycheck goes in to the bank. This is the cash that I'm working with. So I will actually be pulling some from here to stuff in our envelopes, and then some is gonna be deposited into the account because I do utilize high yield savings accounts for some of our categories. Uh, for example, let's see. Go ahead and pick a color for the highlighter, one that will still allow you guys to be able to see. I don't know, let's try the pink and see how it works. Um, so for our sinking funds, my Christmas, my 4th of July, my earthquake policy, Allstate Insurance, that's for my husband's Riker, um, as well as our weekly food and gas budget all go into um, our account. We do uh, have a checking and savings accounts with Ally as well as Chase, but um, my high yield savings account is Ally. And then we have a specific debit card that we use for our food and gas. That's where those purchases come out from, completely separate from our regular checking account where all of our bills come out from. Um, so then, Nails, fun, and bowling, that will remain in cash on my person for the week. And then these will actually go into my short-term sinking folder. Um, but I do like to deposit some in the bank depending when I get to a certain amount. And I will use what we call um, like placeholders in lieu of the actual cash. Uh, just because I you know, don't like keeping too much cash on me, I would rather it be safe um, in a bank and if possible, learn, earning some interest in a high yield savings account, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is, based on what I need to stuff, if I can use 100 for it, so for example, River's birthday, I'm gonna be putting in 100. I'm just gonna be taking from here and putting it in her envelope now um, but let's say, for example, back to school, that's going to get 132. So I'm going to take 100 now, and I'm going to make change once I go to the bank um, for that $32 using my teller slip. So that's what we're going to do right now. Harmony's birthday, that is getting 76. So how I determine amounts, normally birthdays are $300 each. And the reason we do that is whether we put it towards, you know, going out of town or, um, you know, 
gifts and then eating out. Uh, we're a family of five, so sometimes eating out can be a little bit pricey. So um, that will help us go towards that meal, uh, celebrating the birthdays. However, River's double digits next year, she'll be 10. So I'm actually increasing that to $1,000 because I don't really know what we're going to do and I just want to be prepared. So she actually just turned nine in February, but I am already saving for her 10th birthday for next year. I wanna get a jump, you know, a uh, jump ahead, a jump start. That's what I mean, a jump start, forgive me. Um, bowling. This is going to be a new envelope that I just created because my kids are depleting my personal like fun envelope because they have now found this new obsession with bowling. So I'm going to put $22 towards this. We did just go bowl last weekend, so they may have to wait a couple weeks before we go again. So this is going to be $22. Um, although we do keep a $1,000 cushion in our regular checking account for those unexpected purchases. So if they wanted to go bowling, I would just cover it. No big deal. That's that's what's great about uh, budgeting by each paycheck and telling your dollars, each one, where it's going to go. Um, you actually have a lot more freedom with your spending that way. Um, and I found that once we started this system, it wasn't necessarily a lack of income. It was just how we were spending, how we were prioritizing. There does come a point where obviously income becomes an issue and they always say, I agree, there should be multiple streams of income that come in. So if you're able to expand or, you know, sell things on, you know, Facebook marketplace, etc., uh, that will help you increase your cash flow, which therefore you can meet more of your savings, um, savings goals for your family. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be requesting from the bank I'll be taking whatever's left over here and asking for them to give me these denominations and then deposit the rest into the account whatever is there or if I have to pull from it so I had already made these I had already uh, did that before I started the video so basically um, for Valentine's Day, Harmony's birthday, anniversary, Mother and Father's Day, back to school, and pets, I'm going to be requesting $458 in these denominations. And then uh, this is literally just for the bowling. Oh, I did not do the math right on that. So I'm glad I looked at that again. Uh, the teller would have thought that I was, you know, losing it. That's the wrong marker. Okay, so pardon my chair, it squeaks. Um, it's not in my budget right now to buy a new office chair, although I would like one. So it's not a priority though. Uh, this one works, it just squeaks and um, some of the arm part is kind of like peeling, but that is really not that big of a deal. So I'm not going to prioritize that um, just yet. So now let's go ahead I am going to first, let's throw that 700 for pets into the long-term sinking fund. So basically I have um, three that I'm working on. That is our car maintenance, our home maintenance, and our pets. So our car maintenance, that is going to be, um, we're going to save 5,000 for car, 5,000 for home. So for car, this would be if God forbid we needed to like get transmission work, um, you know, things that are completely unexpected, not necessarily oil changes, although if we needed to pull from there for that or registrations, we could, and then we would just replace it. So that's not a big deal, but I'm gonna pause on saving for car and home and focus on getting my pets back to where it was. Um, our home maintenance fund, what that covers is if God forbid our, you know, uh, swamp cooler or our water heater went out, that would cover that expense. Those things are fairly expensive and I thought 5000 was a pretty good start um, to save for that. So for the pets, um, we are going to put in 700 So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's going to go in and then once I get the 74 in the correct denominations from the bank, that will go in here as well. Um, and in the next week or so, I'm going to be putting another large chunk to this. 
and I will then be depositing that into the high yield savings account that I already have set aside for this and I will just replace it with my um, 1000 denomination. So I can still have a visual of what I'm saving. That's super important to me. That's why a lot of people do the cash envelopes. Even when their check is like direct deposited, they'll go pull the cash just so that they can separate it and visually see that. They'll have like a bill envelope, a sinking funds envelope, a cash envelope. Um, I don't pull that out for any of my bills. I let that just go in the account and all of my bill pay just goes through. Um, the only thing I truly just work on in terms of cash is our short-term sinking funds and then our weekly cash envelopes, which I keep in here and I'll go through that in just a second. Um, I don't, again, don't like necessarily holding on to too much cash. Okay, so that's gonna be pets. Oh, let me update my tracker really quick. So I just use little trackers. Um, I will be moving to um, making my own like I had before. Um, on the other things I'll show you like laminated ones, but for now this is gonna do. So that's where I had obsoleted it. Um, and so we are going to add today, deposit. I'm gonna put the 774 because that's what I'm going to be um, putting the rest in tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write that now. A lot of people actually notice they don't actually use the trackers. I don't know if maybe they're tracking it like digitally or what. Um, I find the tracker super helpful uh, with the way my brain works and how you know fast and uh, crazy it can get. It's just best for me. So this is my short-term sinking funds. So as we already said, um, some of this can be filled today because it requires $100 bills, right? So. We are going to add $100 for River's, River's birthday um, to this envelope. And I actually combine all the birthdays into one envelope. And then what I do is on the tracker, I will separate it by each person, so each child. Um, and that is the deposits for that particular child. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 150, 60, 71, 871 dollars. So we are adding a hundred to River's 10th birthday. Bringing us to a total of three hundred dollars. Um, I'm already done saving for Sky's birthday this year and I am almost done saving for Harmony's birthday. So again, I consider these short term because I don't necessarily save for them all year long, or at least I hadn't prior to this, but going forward, I will be. Um, like I'm starting early with rivers and that's the goal is to immediately start pick back up uh, saving for that particular event as soon as I've actually spent the money for it. Um, and so I've kind of created a calendar on another sheet here, like every month, what would I need to save and by, you know, what time, like what month would I need to have that money available by? Um, so my back to school, um, I'm going to get, uh, it's going to get 132, but 32 has to be made like from change from these hundreds. So right now I'm just going to add the hundred. Okay. So we're going to have one, two, three. 50, 65, 72, 372. And because I know I'm gonna add that 132, I am just gonna go ahead and do that now. So that's 392 plus 132. That should be 524. Is that what I said? Oh man. I know it's like going to be uh, minus 32, so it should be 492, 1, 2, 3, and it's not. Where did I go wrong? Hmm. I did something wrong with my math. 1, 2, 3, 50. Hmm. I will have to figure that out. 
I don't think it was with my math. I think that when I switched out my envelopes, I must have, um, I had thought I had, like I had that extra 20 and I didn't know why. And now it's kind of all coming back to me. So I will have to figure that out, but I'm glad I did this because I probably wouldn't have noticed that. Um, I'll double check all of these just to make sure that the amounts match like what I have been saving. Okay, so that's the back to school and for River's birthday. And so that's done for the sinking funds until I get change. And then I'll do a follow up video. For now, I'm going to work on stuffing the nails and the fun. So this stays with me on my person. Um, I am cashless for my grocery budget as well as my gas budget, as I had mentioned, but I do keep trackers because I want to know what I have left to spend. I don't want to overspend. So today fun's going to get a hundred. I already added it to my tracker. Okay. And then nails again, I already added it to my tracker. So that's going to get a hundred. And that'll go back into my purse. And then this is my, um, I spent some of the Easter money. So this actually has to go back to my account because I did online shopping. And so this is me replenishing my checking account for an online purchase using an inflow of our savings, which is our Easter sinking fund. So I'm going to take this to the bank. I'm going to ask that they give me these denominations and then deposit the rest and then i will stuff the rest that's um, left over so that's basically the process if i wasn't doing a video it's it's fairly quick um, because i already know what i'm saving how much i'm saving with what paycheck i actually set up the whole year so even to like, I'm all the way to like February of 2024. So I know that like with the November 2023 checks, there's a, these are the amounts that I'm going to be saving. And that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comment section and I will um, answer you as soon as possible. Um, and if you want information about any of the things that I use, you know, let me know. Again, we do use the budget by paycheck workbook method by the budget mom her program quite literally saved my sanity i hope that you enjoyed this video and again if you have any questions let me know and if you like this video it wouldn't hurt if you would uh, give me a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel but thank you so much take care bye